All right, what we have here are two expressions in scientific notation that are being multiplied. So the first thing that we're going to do is multiply 3 and 4 tenths by 3 and 3 tenths. Now remember, when you're multiplying a bunch of things together, you can multiply in any order that you want to because the commutative property says we can do that. For example, I could rewrite this entire problem as 3.4 times 3.3 times 10 to the negative fourth times 10 to the negative third. So when you're multiplying a bunch of numbers together, it doesn't matter what order that you go in. So we're going to multiply 3.4 by 3.3 first, which gives us 11 and 22 hundredths. All right, the next thing we're going to do is multiply these two values together. Now, when you're multiplying exponents with the same base, the law of exponents states that we can just write that base once and simply add the exponents together. So we take negative 4 and negative 3, and that sum is going to be negative 7. Now, we're almost at our final destination. Scientific notation states that we're not allowed to have two digits in front of our decimal. We have to have a single digit in front of that decimal that is a non-zero. So basically, it has to be a 1 through a 9. So what we're going to do is take this decimal point and simply move it from this location to this location. Now, when we move it from here to here, we can see that we are making this value smaller. And because we moved it one place value to the left, we would say we made this a power of 10 smaller. So basically, we made it a power of 10 smaller, which is 10 to the negative first, which means we have to do the inverse on this side. We're going to have to increase this value by a power of 10, which is 10 to the first. So if we take negative 7 and we increase it by 1, that would give us negative 6. So we're going to rewrite this answer as 1.122 times 10 to the negative 6 power. So sometimes when you're doing calculations, you're going to get a value in front of your base 10 that does not have one digit in front of that decimal. So you may have to make a small adjustment. And by however many powers of 10 you change this number here, you have to do the exact opposite with this number over here. All right, let's go ahead and try an example that involves division. Now remember, when we divide values that are in fractional form, we always divide the numerator by the denominator. So what we're going to do is start by taking 1.2 and dividing it by 6. And the quotient of 1.2 and 6 is 0 and 2 tenths, or 0 0.2. All right, now we take 10 to the fifth power and we divide it by 10 to the negative fifth power. Now, the laws of exponents state that when we're dividing bases that are the same, we take the exponents and we subtract them. So we're going to write times 10, and then our exponent right here is going to be the result of 5 minus negative 5. So if we go to the side here and just do 5 minus negative 5, or just subtract our two exponents together, we end up getting 10. Remember, when you subtract a negative, you have to make those signs positive. So we have 0 0.2 times 10 to the 10th power. Now, our answer is not quite in scientific notation. We cannot have a 0 in the 1's place here. We have to have a digit, a 1 through a 9. So to accomplish this, we're just going to take our decimal point right here and move it one power of 10 to the right. So we're increasing this value by a power of 10, which is 10 to the first. And so we do the opposite with this value right here. We decrease it by one power of 10. So we have to rewrite this as 2.0, or just 2, times 10 to the ninth power. And that's all there is to it. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.